This show is sponsored by PSE Archery, Millennium Tree Stands, Hunter Safety System, Third Arm, Extreme Archery Products, Axe Broadheads, The Chase Deer Scent, Plot Watcher, and Antler Insanity. Welcome to Frogs Taxidermy Adventures. We're in Victoria, Australia. Welcome to Frogs Taxidermy Adventures. I am Frog Mullis. I was born and raised in Middle Georgia, and in that time, I have hunted most everything that walks the woods. I am the owner of Frogs Buckshot Taxidermy, so you can see that wildlife of Georgia is my life. If I am not mounting a trophy for someone, then I might pursuing one of my own. So come join me in my adventures. I'm here with David Luxford. We've been down fox hunting down in some of his forest and uh, he's carrying us to a, a new place so where are we well frog <laughs> once again great to be here with you uh, we're on the rooftop of victoria up in the high country this is all alpine pasture covered in snow in the winter time behind us you might notice there's kind of a lot of white trees white dead white trees a uh, major fire come through here about three years ago, burnt millions of acres. But Australian forest is used to fires, that's part of the gig. And now it's all regrowing and animals come back. Uh, this is below us, is, is all Samba deer country. We've driven for three odd hours to get here and all the way frog, we've driven through prime Samba country. Now with Samba deer, they are they're basically the masters of our forest. They're hard, hard animals to hunt. The population has exploded. They've got the freedom of, of millions of acres to roam from. Ever since we've been driving, it's just been forest solid everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And when we go to where we're, we're heading, we'll go into a totally different type of forest. We'll go into the big, big tall trees, uh, totally different from here. The great thing, Frog, about Samba hunting in Australia is the season goes from the 1st of January to the 31st of December. All year. All year. All year. No bag limit, Frog. No bag limit. So if you're good, you can just go hard. How many, how many would an average person kill in a year's time? Uh, an average person? The rifle or gun or, or bow, frog? Uh, both. Make it tough. Make it tough? Well, you're hunting the toughest animal. He's on the top of the list. I would honestly say that a dedicated bow hunter, if he hunted every day of the year, yeah, he might get half a dozen. A six in a full year. Possibly. Possibly. Make a man want to quit hunting. Mate, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. But where we're going, we're going down the bottom of the mountain, Frog. We're going to one of my friend's places and we'll uh, you know, introduce you to him a bit later. Mm -hmm. And that's why I drive over the mountain to come to a special spot. So this is the top part of Victoria. Everybody thinks it's just all people and towns, but this is God's country, Frog. This, you know, in my idea of Australia, all of what I've seen, it, it, it's totally different. Totally different. Every, you think, no rain, flat, flat yeah. ground, kangaroos. Yeah. But this, this is beautiful. It is beautiful. Very beautiful. Total wilderness. And as far as animals, what all kind of animals would be? Well, in this uh, high country, you'd have native animals, kangaroos, wallabies. Wombats, uh, a native cat, we call them a quoll, little striped or spotted spotted quoll. Wild dogs, dingoes. The wild dogs and dingoes are having a huge impact and have for years on, on native animals. And then you have the samba deer. So that's basically all that's here. All that's here. One, one game animal, you'll have a few foxes, but I wouldn't come foxing down here, frog, because we, we might have to we might have to whistle down there no. and I'm not walking back no so you got the samba deer uh, I noticed we come by just a ski resort 
Yep. Up on the hill. Yep, Mount Hotham Ski Resort. Very popular in the in the winter and but I don't come up here in the winter, <laughs> Frog. I'm I'm allergic to snow. <laughs> well, thanks again for showing me a great part of Australia that I would have never seen. My pleasure. We'll go and see another good spot. And okay. and and with a bit of luck, a bit of luck, like we've only got two winters of opportunity because Frog's time's running out. We've got this evening and tomorrow morning. So our chances are pretty remote, but we're dedicated men, Frog. We'll <laughs> give it a go. After what I've seen you do in the Foxwoods, <laughs> anything is possible. Anything's possible, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, Frog, we're back in the high country. We've come down from the top of the hill there, all that wheelie, ziggly, oh, yeah. ziggly bit. Yep. We've gone through the most amazing valley. That whole valley is pretty well full on Samba stuff. And we've arrived at Dean Mal and Teak Williams' property. Uh, Dean, Frog. How are you, nice Frog? To meet nice you. to meet you, mate. Thanks Mal. for having us. Hi, Frog, how are you going? Doing good, thanks for having us. And Teak. Hey, Teak. Hey, Frog, how are you going? I'm doing good, you? How was your trip over, Frog? Uh, it was a good ride. A yep. long flight. Yep, enjoyed the flight, I hear. Uh, not, <laughs> <laughs> not really. Yeah. So you've been chasing a few foxes about? Oh yeah, we've had uh, three days of the most awesome fox hunting that you could possibly have. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. Thanks, thanks to Dave here. And now we've uh, we've decided to step up the benchmark a bit here, Dean. Uh, and Frog's got one afternoon, one, one afternoon. morning, crack of a samba. And as I said to him, you can hunt them all year, shoot as many as you like, but yep. with a bow, game on. Is game that right? On. That's it, 100%. Yeah, so the pressure's on. Oh yeah, yeah. So we've got a couple of good spots anyway. Okay. There's a couple good. of tree stands set up there. So fairly confident you should get to see something. Okay. Yeah. We'll go so. give it a try and yeah. if it's meant to be, it'll be. If not, have fun. That's it. Yeah. This time of year you'll be right, at least you'll hear them coming. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. it's so dry up the bush. So. Yeah. yeah. So not fingers crossed in the next couple of hours. Yeah. We'll um we can get a get a look at a samba anyway. Yeah. Absolutely, and we probably should make track. Yeah. <laughs> Hope it all goes well. Thanks. Yeah. Good luck. All right, we'll head up. Okay. Yeah. Just so you can see the two runs, are they're out your side, the runs on. Last time I dropped David up here, we drove up here. Dropped him in the tree stand, I come back here and they were in here. They walked in behind him. I guess they'd already beat us out. What time you start sort of seeing them? That two two hours before, well, just on dust, did you say? Well, them ones beat us out that time. Um, they were out a couple of hours. They were in this bit of thick stuff a couple of hours before dark. So they'll just mill around here and then just step out as soon as it gets dark, or just before dark. That was one of the old runs with the looking net up over it, so they haven't broken it.
last night we come out here and rode around the field in the vehicle with the uh, spotlight, which is legal, and shined and just looked at some of the sandbar deer. And uh, there was probably 30 in this field last night. So uh, that's, that's we come up this morning to come up here to uh, try to catch some of these as they were leaving the field. And uh, didn't get them though. Well, we come out after the sandbar this morning, got out here really early. We got right along the tree line over here when it was breaking daylight. I had one right there at us honking, sound like a transfer truck. Honk! Then they were about 10 or so up in the back side. So we went up over around the top to try to get ahead of them. And actually, as we were coming down in here, we had a couple more uh, bust out on us and honk at us. Kind of sound like a transfer truck going through the woods. So, no sandbar on this trip, but had a good time trying. Well, we got up early this morning. Tried to get up there and get them. But they won. They won. They won. Like you said, there was a good chance that they would. Yeah, but that's it. That's the way it goes. But we had a crack, small window of opportunity. What we saw last night on the spotlight was pretty yep. fascinating. Yep. And we saw a couple this morning and got honked at, and that's, yep. that's pretty good. But that's Samba hunting, and come back next time. Well, I appreciate everything you've done while I'm over here, and you know, while we've been over here, and uh, if you're ever in the States, give us a call, and we'll return the hospitality. Pleasure. Thank you. Take care. Okay. You too, my friend. <laughs> If you like this show, watch our other shows at hunt365.tv. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button on the screen or connect with us and receive notices of all our new episodes by liking our Facebook page.